Welcome to the VMware Cloud Foundation feature demonstration. In this video, we will provide an overview on how to use the Cloud Foundation lifecycle management feature to upgrade the unified SDDC platform. We begin by logging into the SDDC manager, where we see a notification that updates are available. On clicking View Details, we see there are two update bundles available for download. Expanding the first bundle and clicking More, we can view details about the software components that are part of this updated bundle. In this case, NSX and ESXi. Close the window and repeat these steps to view the components in the second bundle. Here we see the software updates for the SDDC Manager, Hardware Management Services, and Lifecycle Management Components. Let's download the update bundles. Back at the Lifecycle Management screen, we click Download. We review the download details, such as the release date and size, and click Download again to start the download. Click Refresh and we see the download start. Repeat these steps to download the second update. We now see two updates are listed under the Update tab. Let's schedule the updates. Click the Update tab, and on expanding the available updates, we see the downloaded updates. Note that SDDC Manager requires us to install the Evo SDDC update before we install the VMware software update. SDDC Manager is aware of dependencies and will enforce them as part of the automated patching capability. Before we schedule the updates, let's click Inventory to review our current inventory. Here we see a list of the configured workload domains that are candidates for being updated. On expanding the Management Workload domain, we can view the list of software components along with their current software versions. Let's schedule the update for the Management domain. Go back to the Update page and click Update. As this update only includes components that are running inside the management domain, it's the only domain showing as available for updating. In addition, because this update is mandatory, we see it is selected by default. We expand the update, where we see the three software components listed, along with the current version and the target version. Click Next. Use the calendar to schedule the day and time when we want SDDC Manager to apply the update, and click Next. Confirm the settings, and click Schedule Update. The update is now scheduled. To monitor the progress, we go back to the Update page and expand Scheduled Updates. Click the pull-down and select View Update Details. Here we can monitor the update progress. On clicking Refresh, we see the update gets queued and then starts. We see here that it started with the SDDC Manager, followed by the Hardware Management Service, and finally, the Lifecycle Management. SDDC Manager takes care of migrating virtual machines and rebooting components as part of the upgrade. Once the update is done, the status shows completed. With our SDDC Manager infrastructure components updated, let's go back and apply the second update to the Management Workload domain to upgrade the ESXi and NSX versions in the domain. Returning to the Lifecycle Management page, expand Available Updates. We now see the VMware software release is available for updating. Click Update. Where the previous update only applied to the Management Workload domain, we see that this update applies to all workload domains. However, we need to update each workload domain separately. As the Management domain is selected by default, we need to update it first. Here we see the ESXi and NSX components, with the current software version and the target version. Close the details and click Next. Follow the same steps to schedule and monitor this update.
In this example, we see a total of seven components to be updated. As each component is updated, SDDC Manager will automatically coordinate migrating any VMs and trigger any necessary reboots, making the update transparent to running workloads. When the update is finished, its state is marked as completed. We can now follow the same steps to schedule the update on the remaining workload domains in our Cloud Foundation environment. This concludes our demonstration on the Cloud Foundation Lifecycle Management Automated Update Capability built into VMware SDDC Manager. Thank you.